What's up, nerds? I'm gonna get cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. You didn't see that, but there was my arrow still on the on the screen, and I don't like that. All right, let's check things out. We are back with our champions, which is great, and we got a new case from Ryota, you something like that. The, the guy we just uh, met in the K Cafe, uh, one of our school friends. Got a defender patch and attack restraint chip C. Great work. What do you say, Apuru? Nope. Let's see. New case added one. We still have Nakano Underground and I'm not a flower person. And here we have Ryota's youth. It's red, so it should be done pretty soon. But first, I think... I'm gonna go with this. This is a case from the government. The door in the Nakano Underpass has been unlocked. What waits on the other side? Mm-hmm. All these pictures of flowers are from my phone. I keep deleting them, but they keep coming back. Help. Eh, hot guy in Shinjuku. Let's start with that one. Because it is just a, a small thing that should be... Like, go in into his phone, fight a Digimon, hear something about love, probably, and then be out. Uh, are you the detective that took my case? Can we talk about it? It's urgent. This cell has got photos of flowers on it, but I don't ever even remember taking them. Creepy, right? The other day I went to a show uh, to show a friend of mine a photo of my dog, but when I opened my phone it was all full of photos of flowers. I was like, what? So my friend was all like, hey, are you into flowers or something? She was totally freaked out, but seriously, I'm not into flowers, man. Why would that freak anybody out? Like, flowers are beautiful. Some of them. Some aren't. Ah, flowers are beautiful. Although I'm not saying that I think some guy has be has be using my phone. Has been using my phone when I'm not around. I always carry my phone around with me, but I keep finding more photos, you know? I wanna get this fixed, but I don't really understand what the problem is. What do you think? Could be a malfunction, could be a spooky phenomenon, maybe sleepwalking. It could be a malfunction. Yeah, do you think there's some kind of malfunction where photos are just taking themselves? I never see anyone touch my phone. I never see anyone. Yeah, well, uh, there's just something weird about it. Okay, so if I leave this with you, can you investigate it for me? Sure. There are no skeletons in my closet. Go ahead and check all you want. I don't care. Sure you want to connect, chump? Sure. And we're in, as always. I hope it's not too big of a labyrinth, but then again, it's only, like, what was it? One star, two stars? I think it was two stars. Let's begin downright. And it's a Lilymon, of course it's a Lilymon. Okay, this is where we'll go back later on. Palmon and Tanemon. Like, yay. Bunch of enemies. Uh, everything is too one foe, too bad. I would have liked something that attacks all foes. One foe, one foe, one foe. Oh, that didn't even kill. And here we should be weak. Oh no, they are... Uh, I still don't have anything that attacks all of them. They are neutral, so of course we don't do any extra damage. We just would deal uh, we deal extra damage with Garurumon because we are fire, they are plant. Plant! And boom. Great! So once again, we are in a dungeon that has like little ones. Little ones. We're just talking about like most rookies. At least the boss, because I mean, come on, we're gonna fight Lilymon. At least the boss is an ultimate. That's something. Okay, from the lower right to the upper right, or rather, so ooh, Wormon. But then again, we got Wormon already, right? Yeah. Uh. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, of course, water would. It wouldn't be super effective because water against press and didn't kill. So we don't have anything fire other than whatever. Okay, let's just do a holy shot because why not, right? And Koelamon, gotta attack Wormon. Yokomon will attack us, but I mean, I mean, we even stunned it. I mean. <laughs> Just a baby Digimon. And we're flopping around because we killed some babies again. The usual!
casual, you know? What you <laughs> I should stop saying stuff like that, I really should. Right, where are we now? We are here, oh, we are, we are already at the boss. Okay, so we know how to get here, meaning I will go back and just see what we can find in the rest of the dungeon. I mean, by the, w by the way it looks, we're probably just gonna be in a single small room with, I don't know, an item or something. Oh, not, not even that. Wow, that was an incredible waste of time, but hey, what can you do, right? Do we? I don't think we have... Reduces encounters! Oh, we actually do! That's great! Don't we have anything like stealth hide? Makes yourself transparent. Okay, that, that doesn't help us with encounters. And yeah, I, I'm just reducing encounters because, like, seriously, what, what are we supposed to do? Like, fight a bunch of small fries over and over again? Although... Gotta say, we are getting quite decent EXP. But nah, I, I just... Let's go for the boss. Also, uh, this is a function called no high security. It reduces encounters. Technically, they are not null and void. Like, it's not like we won't f uh, get any encounters. We need to heal, by the way. Nah. Not like we won't get any encounters, but like very, very few, so... Eh, what about from this angle? Okay, cheese! Yeah, that looks good, just right. He'll definitely like me after these. Huh? Hey, who the hell are you? Hi, stop doing that. What am I doing? Well, obviously, I'm taking a photo of myself and saving it on his phone. What? Stop taking selfies? No way. And... We fight! Excuse me! Okay, um... Water damage, so it would just be 1.5 instead of 2. Oh, 2.5 instead of 3, something like that. We could just go... You know what, let's go for this. Try to stun her. We did it! We paralyzed. That's nice. Um... Do we think we should heal? You know what, let's see how much we heal. Way too little. She could still kill us. Restore a little HP. We could do that. Let's see how much. 54. That's not a whole lot. That's... Wow. She packs quite a punch. The punch is being packed. Um, let's go with item and... Do this. Heal Coelamon. Yes, I know. It's just 2.0. Oh, okay, that's, that's it. Instead of 2.0. Five? Three? I don't, I don't know. Um, we're gonna go with Heavy Strike, because that always hits and it's neutral. Critical hit, nice. Um, we're gonna heal ourselves once again, just... Wow, now we get a heal up, now when we don't need it. But it's nice. Seven, oh my goodness, that's... That's a shit ton, as they say. Uh, yeah, let's go for Freeze Fang again. Wow, that, that thing is actually pretty dang strong. I like it. Now, if only we'll get some great XP for this pretty hard fight. Although it wasn't that hard, it was just quite a lot of damage, but other than that, nothing too bad. 1,300, that's, that's okay. What was it again? To, like around level 28 to 30 for everyone to level up, I think? No way, I lost. Yeah, now stop it, or I'll burn you down. Now I won't burn. Huh? The guy who owns this photo, uh, this phone, doesn't like my photos on it. Oh, so what did he say about me? That I'm cute or pretty or nothing in particular. He sort of said you were cute. He's got his um, friend, and he's afraid she'll think he likes flower. None of this makes any sense. Huh? His friend? Who's she? Who the hell is she? What was she like? Is she cuter than me? Is she? Oh. I didn't know he didn't like this, the pictures. I was hoping he'd like me once he saw them. Got it. If he doesn't like them, I'll stop saving the photos. 
but he wasn't bothered by me being here, because I really don't want to leave. Ah, so that means... I can stay here and hang up any calls he gets from women. <laughs> don't mess with the girl in love. No, this th this is not case closed. I mean, technically it is. He just asked us about the uh, flowers. But come on. What? You figured it out? What? Was it Digimon that fell in love with me? So, a Digimon... Oh, wait, but isn't that a kind of virus or something? Are you saying hackers got into my phone? My phone was that badly infected? Please tell me you were able to completely get rid of it. No, because I didn't try. What? It's harmless and won't mess up my phone? It's sorry? The viruses? I, I don't really get it, but I guess if it's harmless... What? So there's more? Huh? Digimon might hang up my calls with women if it gets jealous? <laughs> well, then it isn't harmless at all. Does this Digimon really love me? It takes flower photos, gets all jealous. Such a sweet virus. I guess I won't erase it. I've never really been into any women, so that's no problem. After all, I'm only into guys. So, yeah, no problem then. We, we did it. I, it's just, yeah. Everything's strange in this game, but we kind of knew that. Oops. Also, for some reason, it's it's really it's it's cloudy outside. It's it's pretty cool day, and for some reason, I'm getting pretty warm in here. All right, windows open. Might be because right when I got home, I drank a cup of coffee. Hmm. There's a possibility. There is a possibility that that is related. All right, all right. Um, one thing that I wanted to do is the room on black. We want um, instead of trash and leaf, we want panic whiz. It is very, very weak, and it's magic. Ah, I, I don't know. Attack intelligence. I mean, it would be th like against uh, Lilymon. It would have been three times, like a uh, 3.0 damage thingamajig. The question is, magic attack, our intelligence is only 50, and it only does 30. So I think we'll, we're still better off with Crash and Leaf. Yeah, sucks. But whatever. Let's go hand in this one, and then take Ryota's quest. I think his name was Ryota, right? I, I know I, I looked at it before. Shh, don't. Don't do that. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, Ryota. Yeah, Ryota Takei. Or Takai. Uh, work, work, work. I want an easy job with lots of money. There aren't many jobs like that. No, oh, that. That one. That one's stupid. Kinda. <coughs> oh, you took my case. Thanks. Still, that woman you work with, Kyoto, is her. Is that her, is that her name? Yeah, she's kind of weird. When I went to the office to submit my request, she said something weird. I'm getting a nasty vibe coming from you. And she even said it's like the detestable aura of male pursuing pursuing a female. I mean, what the hell is that about? <sighs> you try and send in a serious request, and this is what you get. But Kyoko is really pretty, and she seems like a nice person. When I was in the office, she asked me if I wanted some fresh coffee, but I said I didn't have the time. Lucky you. Oh yeah, the case, I forgot. To be honest, I need money at the moment. I'd like to try to find a part-time job so I can pick up a little extra spending money. Huh? Ah, oh, right. I need to pay a fee if I'm sending an of official request to the detective agency. So could you please try and f find a nice, cushy job that will make up for the fee as soon as you can? And anyway, if it's a job in Eden, you and that girl would know a lot about it, right? Yeah, that's right. What I'm looking for is a part-time job in Eden. Those are usually the easiest ones. Please find me three options to choose from for a part-time job in Eden. I don't mind if they are a little shady. I really need the money. I'm begging you. Let's discuss it once we get back to the office. Sit with this guest. Just find him some job offers. And be like, hey, here. Apply. <laughs> hmm. He wants us to look for a part-time job for him in Eden. A pretty easy request. All the same, let's... I'd say it's a good case for you to handle as my assistant. He'll accept a nice, well-paid part-time job, and it's okay if it's a little shady. Looking for a job like that here in Nakano shouldn't be too hard. 
I'm sure if you quietly ask some of those kind of people near Nagano, we'll find something for him. What's that supposed to mean? I've heard of cushy, shady jobs quite close to here. All the same, if he needs money urgently, I wonder what he needs it for. Porn! <laughs> Drugs. Nope, shut up. Shut up. I like my Digimon, don't worry. Just hate the Digiline, that's just... Ugh. Okay, just walk all throughout the car. No. Yo, shady man. A dodgy realtor. You can work in Eden and it's a nice, easy part-time job. If you like, I can give you a private introduction for the job. In the business, it's called room laundering. One way or another, people die. You just have to live in one of these so-called rooms with a shady history for three months. If you do, we can cover up what happened in the room. You might be able to see that which is normally unseen. Become possessed by regretful things. If you aren't squeamish, it's quite an easy job. If, if you want, I can give you an introduction, but please don't talk to anyone else about this. So... I think I get it. I mean, to my understanding, if you got a room or a house where the previous owner or renter died in, that sounds a bit iffy. As in, uh, yeah, uh, so um, can I talk to the previous renter? Nah, he died right there. <laughs> Doesn't sound too good. But if you got someone in there for a few months, then that would be the last renter and you wouldn't have to tell the, anyone about the death there, I think. I'm guessing that's what they're hinting at. Like, might be wrong, might be something totally different, but that's, that's kind of how I saw it or how, how I understood that. And I mean, living in a room or something like that for three months, if the rent is covered, you get paid for that? I mean, someone died there, yeah. Big, big whoops. <laughs> I mean, if you're someone, if you're someone who's like, oh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? So, so, someone who's afraid of the supernatural. Then, superstitious? Superstitious. That's it. If you're superstitious, then that would be a pretty bad job. But if you're not, that's a pretty good gig. And yeah, it's. I think the only. I think the only reason that that this is called shady or whatever is because it would cover up the fact that there was a death there. Which, in my opinion, my broad opinion now, um, if the death wasn't due to something having to anything to do with the room or another tenant somewhere nearby, then I mean, wh why would you need to know that? Technically, if in this flat that I'm living in right now, if someone like five years, f five years ago, like would died from a heart attack, so, I mean, but too bad and whatever. But so, if someone like from probably from this house broke in and killed them there, okay, that's a different thing. If something like uh, mold killed them basically because it just destroy their health that's something that i would need to know but if it's just a natural death or something not having to do anything with the with the flat itself why would that matter but anyway <laughs> so you want to earn a quick buck in eden now don't do you all right then i'll introduce you for the job it's so easy anyone could do it i want you to take pictures of ghosts in eden all you need to do is get a photo of a ghost and I'll pay you big bucks for it. Not bad, eh? If you're interested, let me know. <laughs> Nothing easier than that, right? Because ghosts in cyberspace. I mean, yes, we got that one ghost. The, the white boy. But other than that... Well, you're looking for a part job in Eden. Not just that, but a nice, easy, well-paid job too. In that case, I have good news. I have the perfect job for you. For this job. You just need to wash some uh, stuff pickled in formaldehyde. It couldn't be easier. Formaldehyde. Isn't that what you use to like preserve organs and stuff? Isn't that what you would use to preserve dead people and their parts? A finger? 
pickled in formaldehyde, you know what I mean? A finger, a heart, a brain. Yeah, what kind of stuff? What are you, stupid? Don't ask us questions. If you want to feel freaked out and disgusted, work in underground rooms and hospitals at night and be terrified all the time, then be my guest. Ah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about body parts. Oh, shit. Oh, you found one already? Where? Room laundering? Stuff pickled in formaldehyde? Taking photos of ghosts? It's all just urban legends, though. It doesn't have anything to do with Eden. Take, take photos of ghosts in Eden. Doesn't have to do anything with Eden. What? <laughs> Room laundering? Okay, that doesn't have to do anything with Eden at all. You could, I don't know if you have like VR gear somewhere where you could check into Eden. So you could do that from the room you're renting, but I don't know. All the same, this ghost picture uh, thing sounds good. Seems like a nice, easy job. Seems like getting paid for just one photo is easy money. If you can find a ghost in Eden, like, huh? <laughs> huh? Why do I want to earn money for a part-time job in the first place? I. Uh, it doesn't matter why. It's none of your business. None of your business? What isn't? Ah, Sakura? Ah, what do you mean? Ah, nothing, it's nothing. Ryota, are you by any chance talking about doing anything strange? Ah, uh, uh, I, um... The other strange thing lately has been you. You're always uh, talking so carelessly. <laughs> oh, there's no point in talking to you. Come on, Renegade, let's go. Take me to client. Take me to client. Like... It seems there are parts in this game that are just worsely, uh, worsely. Wow, uh, worse or translated worse than the other. Like there are some errors every now and then, but I feel like in this episode alone we had like three or four errors. Ryota, Renegade. Ah, they're all stupid. I knew you'd come. <laughs> Huh? How did I know? I tapped into my spir spiritual powers. Mwah! I want you to look into a ghost, the white boy, who has been appearing and disappearing around Kowloon recently. This time, I'd like you guys to take a photo of this white boy. If you take a good picture, I will pay you big money for it. Not bad, eh? Mwah! Huh? You think it's strange that you can take a photo of a ghost in this digital space with a digital camera? Well, I suppose if you think about it, the very appearance of a ghost in a digital space is in and of itself strange. Accept it, it's reality. Stop pretending you haven't seen them. Firstly, did you know that more than 70% of the people in this world have seen ghosts and blah 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 blah? All started with the incident at Roswell. The government. No, it started way earlier than Roswell. The government and the aliens are all connected, they are just covering up blah 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 blah. Cattle mutilation, flying humanoids, and even animals falling from the sky, they're all part of the same conspiracy, blah 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 blah. Anyway, there's no analog nor digital in the occult. Please get this rumored specter on camera. You know, this would be really good money. Spider-Man style. As in Peter Parker taking photos of Spider-Man, because, I mean, Peter Parker knows Spider-Man, you know what I mean? Because we know the boy in white. We've seen Jugo. We, we've talked to him, or he has talked to us, something like that. It's just that, yes, every now and then a ghostly apparition appears. <clears throat> that doesn't talk at all. But we've basically seen it multiple times. It looks exactly like Jugo, so we know it's Jugo. But whatever. <clears throat> well, what do you expect from an editor from the cult magazine? He obviously lacks in any kind of common sense. The white boy, a specter of Kowloon. To tell the truth, I'm a bit scared to go now. It sounds pretty terrifying. Well, I suppose you might as well come along. Okay, let's go to Kowloon and take some ghost pictures. Uh, do I get paid extra for that? I mean, it's, it's a friend of mine. But do I get paid extra for that? Like, don't just decide stuff like that on your own. Nope. Wrong. I wanted to go down, not up. Then why did I press up? Yeah, well, I don't know. For some reason, I thought that it would be like... Ground floor, first floor, second floor. Uh, technically, I'm done with the quest. I'm just saying I found him a job. Yes, I know. We have to go to Kowloon with him and take a picture of that ghost. But technically, we're done and this is a different job. Since Kyoko keeps, like... Ooh, ooh. Kyoko keeps insisting on stuff like that. Like the one time where Nokia wanted something. She was like, yeah... yeah, yeah. 
Even if you're a friend, you gotta pay, which makes total sense. But now, we we are basically done with his quest. And now he has got a different quest. And we're only gonna be paid once, which kinda sucks. Am I going the right way? Like... Seriously? Case. Uh, oh, Kowloon Kal 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 level 3. I should have read that. I did So I didn't know. So, let's go to Kalu level 3. Have we? We have been there, right? Pretty sure we have been there and we can just warp there. Not have to go to Kalu level 2 and then walk all the way, right? Yeah, Kalu level 3. In the end, it will actually be a good thing if this white boy appears. Anyway, let's hang around here for a while. By the way, yo! Two closed. Okay. So, even if we could crack that firewall, we couldn't. And hang around here probably means... Oh, we can't go here anyway. We need to go the only way that's possible, so... Let's go there. Ah, oh, looking for a ghost? Ah, oh, it's about that white boy I've heard about recently, right? Yeah, I think anyone who gets all flustered by things like that is a real idiot. Okay, this is a digital world. The real world is a different story, but that doesn't mean that ghosts can appear here. What kind of thing tell me about this? You won't be able to find them because there is no such thing. <clears throat> At the end of the day, I suppose there is no such thing as a ghost. <laughs> We'll never find a ghost like this, not even the faintest trace. What should we do, Renegade? Let's go back to doing the room laundering, pick the stuff. We're not giving up, let's stage a picture. You mean you want to fake the picture? Like... That's a good idea, actually. Stupid old man should be easy to trick. What stupid old man? That guy was... Well, whatever. Right, if we do this, Renegade, you should play the part of the ghost. But you're the only one who can. No! I got red hair and black clothes and yellow so no no do it more like this do it more ghost like more like a ghost remember you've done things in life that you regret there are people alive with whom you have unfinished business that kind of thing Ugh. hey hey what are you doing burp, 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 burp. <laughs> huh Oh, there's nothing there. Huh? What? The white boy? Oh, hey, quick! Take a picture! The camera! Get the camera! Quick! So, let me get this straight. You couldn't get a photo of the white boy, so you decided to fake a picture? Of someone? Oh, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Even so, this picture... An elementary school kid could have taken a better picture than this. In the end, we'll have to reject this case. What? No way! Renegade and me! We put everything we had into this one! No! It doesn't matter. Sit down. I'm going to show you how to take a picture of a ghost properly. Terror basically arises from the human imagination. Anything looks like a face from the right angle. This is how you can stimulate a person's imagination with a photograph. That is the key technique in the ghost photo photo photography. <laughs> You just need to invoke the uniquely human phenomenon of parallel. Shit, I didn't read that word. For example, here, the perspective in this picture. Huh? What's wrong? Hmm, looks like this camera took a photo. Huh? W where? Look, behind Renegade, you can see a human figure, but it has no head. But. Whoa, there's a real, real ghost photo! Okay, let's go take this to the editor right away. Renegade, Kyo Kyoko, thank you both. Kyoto? Kyo Kyoko. Kyoko. <laughs> 10 percent of ghost photos are fake. I never thought that this one would be part of the 10% that are real. Can we see the photo? Okay. <laughs> I... I think I'm the one in the photo. How does she hear everything? Huh? You? I was worried about Ryota, so I followed him to Kalu. I was trying to watch him from the shadows, but I must have slipped into the frame. I wonder, is there a connection between you and Ryota's actions? Actually, my birthday is coming up soon. I see, so that's why he needed the money. He, he needed money to buy me a present, so he was looking for a job where he could make a lot in a short space of time. 
He, he shouldn't have tried to buy me a present that he couldn't afford. So he was doing his best to find a part-time job to buy a present for a girl he was in love with. Ha, <laughs> young love. Hey, are you okay? You have a blank expression on your face. It's like your mind is somewhere else. <laughs> By any chance, is there someone else you are in love with? I just like <laughs> their relationship kinda gets teased all the time, as in he totally loves her, she We don't know. Seems like she knows, kinda. But now is there someone else you're in love with? As in Is she in love with someone else? Is he I don't know, it's just So it was about a present for an unrequited love. Okay, so far. Uh, you know, our case load has gotten a lot more colorful since you got here. Alright. Now, let's go to Nakano Underground. But let's do that next time. Do we? Oh, shit. <clears throat> I'll explain. I'll explain all the details. The cli client this time is the local government that takes care of the utilities for Nakano. Basically, it's a bureaucratic agency. Why are you so shocked? Of course we spe specialize in the supernatural and complex cyber crimes, so we usually have a very specific clientele. But we cooperated very well with Detective, Mal Detective Madayoshi's police force, so they consider us to be, to be a pretty good detective agency. So we received a case from a public agency. Quite a rare event. This case was originally discussed by Detective Madayoshi with the government agency. It's a bit special, so Detective Madayoshi passed us down to the government agency like some sort of ace up his sleeve. And now it's our case. Got it? Good. The case is to unlock a gate in Naikana Underpass. It seems the gate is locked due to some electronic glitch and can't be opened. Huh? What you don't know about Nakano Underpass? It's a facility that houses the equipment used to provide Nakano's public utilities, such as power cables, water pipes and so on. They are moving forward with a plan to improve the look of the city center above ground by housing the public utilities underground. Looks like the visible power cables and telephone poles are set to disappear in the not too distant future. Underneath the canal there is a vast complex of tunnels, so there are of course many entrances. One of these entrances is a place where the gate we need to unlock is. It is a password protected electronic lock, but it seems some time ago it locked for no reason and no one has been able to open it since. They contacted the manufacturer, but they gave up. If needs be, they will destroy the gate, but obviously that would incur serious costs. While the costs were discussed, a weird groaning sound was heard coming from the other side of the gate. It seems something strange is going on. The manufacturer had a bad feeling about it and didn't want to open the gate, but the government suspected criminal activity and called Matayoshi. I see, so then the bug passed to Kuremi Agency. Well, after all, we have the best people for the job if you want to access a place that is off bounds to most. This is actually a good opportunity. I've been wanting to investigate the rumors surrounding Nakano's underground system for a while. The gate in question has an electronic lock, so naturally there's a cyberspace inside it. You're the only one who can break into the gate without destroying it. I've already received permission from the government to access the underpass. Alright then, shall we go and find out what the real situation with this underground gate is? Where's that groaning voice coming from? What kind of strange world lies beyond the gate? This is gonna be so much fun. Huh? It's an underground gateway, so there will just be an underground tunnel behind it, right? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the stochastic process in quantum mechanics? I guess I should tell you about Schrodinger's cat. Until we open up the gate, we cannot know if we will find an underground tunnel or the void of space. Till you open the gate, the world is in a flux of overlapping possibilities, so just try to enjoy it. Let's go, the case is a simple matter of unlocking the gate, but what's behind the gate? Your job is to find that out. Technically, you can apply Schrodinger's cat to every single thing you don't know at the moment. But we're not gonna dive into that, that's... That's a... something for another time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye bye!